Well, how's it going everybody? My name is Armand and welcome back guys to another Dead Frontier video guys. So guys, today is going to be an interesting topic to talk about really. Uh, it's something that I honestly have covered in the past, but you know, uh, this, that was a while ago. And where is the aggro dude? Did the aggro already disappear? Oh, don't tell me that dude. I just started this video guys. Come on. No more aggro? Guess not. Alright guys, so I was trying to do like a little talk show or whatever, a little bit of a, like a miniature live commentary with you guys talking about certain topics here and there that don't require much editing and just pretty much talk to you guys in general. So today guys, we'll be talking about Dusk, alright? Dusk, it, it's it's a very popular item when it comes to Death Frontier because, well, when you start Death Frontier, it's something that comes up eventually at one point or time while, you know, playing Death Frontier, which is obviously Dusk weapons. So how can you obtain Dusk, right? So to obtain Dusk, you need to be either level 220, win TPK, TS, but yeah, and there's two versions of Dusk, you know, um, there's the regular one, which I ha I'm using right now, alright, this is basically the one that you get when you reach level 220, and it's the first generation of Dusk, okay, it's something that's not too over, like, you know, overwhelming, it's just, I, I want to say it's balance, you know, it's, again, it's nothing too crazy, it, it gets the job done, and, you know, blah, 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 you still get your unlimited Dusk Enforcer, your nice Dusk Mag, and, you know, the weapons aren't really terrible, they're actually pretty good, the Dusk Mag gets 999, <laughs> you know, bullets in the mag, uh, Dusk Enforcer gets, you know, unlimited bullets, and you have 20 bullets in the mag, and of course, the Dusk Launcher that I'm using, 20 uh, bullets in the mag, or grenades in the mag, and it's fast firing speed, holy crap, I'm using my speed too much, <laughs> but yeah, also with the other ones, like the Dusk Carbine, the Dusk Razor, blah, 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 but the reason why this Dusk isn't terrible is, cause, is because, well, when you get your level 220, all you really want to buy is the armor and the helmet, all right, that's pretty much it, oh, and the Ultra Boost, okay, now the one that you really want is X Dusk, now X Dusk is a buffed up version of, you know, Dusk, it's, it's something you get either by winning TS, uh, TPK, or regular Kalan TPK, which, you know, you only get the X Dusk Enforcer and the X Dusk Razor, I believe, but I'm not too sure, I think they change it around. The only issue is that Clan TPK and Clan TS is very limited, that shop is very, I think it's like four, eight, four items, five items, and that's it. And I don't believe you get the Ultra Boost, yeah, you don't. So, of course, if you're gonna go for it, you wanna win either regular Top Survivor or regular Top Player Killer. And it's not that it's hard to obtain, it's just that you need to put in a lot of hours. That's the part where it gets difficult. Not only that, but now that, you know, different tier has changed over the years, you need to buy implants, you know, you need the Ultra Boost. Not really, but, you know, it does help a lot. You need the Wraith Cannon, you need, uh, I think it's the x Quran now that's still OP. But, uh, yeah, you need those weapons, alright? You need them, you need them, you need them. Because if you don't have those, uh, you know, those overpowered implants, the drug boost, and, you know, those weapons, you're gonna lose, alright? Uh, in terms of TS or TPK, you know, now everybody has a Wraith Cannon unlimited and the unlimited Wraith Cannon, anything unlimited just really breaks the game, depending on what type of unlimited weapon it is. If it's the X Dusk Enforcer or regular Dusk Enforcer, which, ultra, which also has unlimited ammo, it's not that bad because, you know, it has a certain amount of speed and damage, so it's not really that terrible. But when you have something like on the, unlim the unlimited Wraith Cannon and, you know, you have overpowered implants on and the, and the drug boost and all that stuff, you can see where it becomes an issue, alright? And the issue I'm having with Dusk at the moment, well, everybody is, is that, is it even worth it going for it anymore? I mean, because when you go for something that, you know, is, it only has one winner, meaning one out of 2,000 people that can win it every week, it begs to differ, you know? Do I really want to go for, you know, something that is obviously going to be forgotten in a few years? Because, let's be honest, Dusk, the re what I'm using around regular Dusk Mag, the regular Dusk Launcher, they're they pretty much obsolete all right instead of the dusk mag i can use uh, the hair razor and you know it was a it was a, a free weapon that you could have gotten through the events granted the only problem you had with it is just you just had to get the eggs and just unlock the parts and just build it for one mil i believe and after that you got a x dusk mag really i looked at the stats and they're basically the same thing x dusk mag and the hair razor pretty much they both do the same damage and really, again, they really weren't that different except one uses, I believe, 9mm, 7.5, I don't remember anymore, I haven't, used, I haven't played this game in a while, but yeah, what I'm trying to say is, as time progresses, eventually these X Dusk weapons are going to become obsolete just like regular Dusk. And, well, people are just a little fed up because, well, they put all this time and money into the game just to obtain these weapons, you know, to kind of show off because, let's be honest, Dusk weapons is kind of like a status thing. It's, it's like when you own a Lamborghini, you don't need it. But you got it. But, you know, the same thing could be said for x -Sucks. you know. It, it was pretty good for the first year it came out, I believe. Back in, you know, I don't know, how, I don't even know how long it was. But, back then it was worth it. They up, they boosted the Dusk. And, yeah, I guess problems were solved for a little while. But, like I said, I'm sorry for repeating myself. Once 
new weapons come out for the frontier it's just the same thing like i said in the biggest problem with the frontier is every year they release new weapons and those new weapons you know um overwhelm the old ones and people just forget about them so here are my ideas to kind of you know solve this little quick situation all right my first one will be just give a miniature version of ghost ammo to the dusk weapons aka you know like i believe it was like 8,000 credits for ghost time well, i can't remember 10,000 12,000 credits but pretty much every day you have a certain amount of bullets which is called ghost ammo all right they're not in your inventory you just have them there and every day it resets and after a while you know the bullets reset and you have the same amount of bullets every single day hence the name ghost ammo now what i want for dusk weapons is to have a miniature version of that i think 12.7 was like 18 20k whatever rifle bullets grenades were like 8k 10k every day 0.50 pistol bullets were like I, I forgot I as again it's been so long since I used ghost since I even seen ghost ammo I don't even know if anybody who uses them I'm pretty sure everybody uses them at some point if you play this game for a long time but I feel like if admin can just do a miniature version of ghost ammo for dusk I feel like that's where it becomes worth it you don't have to give every dusk weapon unlimited ammo because that just becomes ridiculous imagine having a dust mag that has unlimited ammo with a 999 clip I mean it's not gonna do much damage it does like what 39 damage a hit which isn't terrible but it's still not good whereas the hair razor does a bunch <laughs> but instead of just being a regular weapon that you have to afford and buy the bullets for just give it like 5,000 bullets every day 6,000 bullets max and that way people have a reason to grind for it you know dusk launcher can have 2,000 grenades every day uh, uh, the dusk enforcer you, you don't have to think about it all right this is just already op in itself it's unlimited all right so that that doesn't have to be touched but every other weapon you can give five six thousand bullets every day and i know and it doesn't defeat the purpose of ghost ammo it's still a thing you know you like it's like promoting it hey you want go most more ghost ammo why don't you get the regular one you get blah 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 of this much rifle bullets blah 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 of this much pistol bullets and blah 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 of this much you know grenades let's see what i got yikes the other extreme but not a really good solution is giving all dusk weapons unlimited ammo which i want to say it's stupid don't do it but if people really want this solution i feel like it's just a little dumb i've seen some people say hey just give it all unlimited ammo you know what's the harm i'm like yeah don't 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 do that i mean don't don't ever give into that idea just saying that right now makes me kind of cringe a little <laughs> And last but not least, just buff it every year, I mean, all right? If the Dusk Enforcer does what? Uh, 20, 20 damage, 19 damage, I'm sorry, I'm just talking out of my buns right now in terms of damage. Just increase it by 7 points every year, you know? That way, Dusk and x Dusk become relevant, all right? Dusk, a regular Dusk, I feel like, doesn't have to be touched. It's pretty much balanced. But, again, the only time people will ever grind for Dusk is pretty much if it's a clan thing. Or if they really, really want to invest in this game and just spend a ton of money and just want it just for, you know, clout, I guess you can say. At the moment, there's just no reason to really grind for regular Dusk or the X Dusk. It just doesn't seem smart. I mean, I, we now have the crossbow, which has unlimited ammo, and it hits about pff, 900 damage, 700 damage on a, you know, very high critical chance uh, hit. And then you have, you know, the X Grand, you have the regular Manberg. It, it just doesn't make sense to, to run for X Dusk. Like I said, the only reason to run for Dusk is either if you really just want to win or if it's a clan event and you are the reason why you end up winning clan you know clan tpk clan ts or regular ts or tpk all right but hey guys those are my three solutions like i said the first one just give a miniature version of ghost ammo to the dusk weapons which you know i feel like it's a good idea instead of just you know just giving them no ammo just give them like let's say the dust mag five six thousand bullets the dusk launcher like what two thousand bullets every day and then obviously these don't have to worry about it but you get what I mean. The second one is, I don't recommend it. Give every Dusk weapon unlimited ammo, which I feel is stupid. I don't think you should ever do that. I mean, I feel like it's just, it's just, it'll just break the game more. And last but not least, just buff the Dusk weapons every time you release a new weapon or that it can actually, you know, pose a problem to Dusk weapons. Because, you know, again, if every year we come out with brand new weapons that replace that specific type of Dusk weapons in terms of damage, there's no point to really cry for it. I mean, this has been an issue for so long and... I feel like if Ami just busted a few points every year, I think it'll be okay. But for now, yeah, those weapons. <sniffs> hey guys, that's all I got for you. This Armando signing out. I'm sorry for rambling on and on and on. Uh, but if you guys like these type of videos, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Take it easy. Bye.